Hello and welcome to the Photography and Videography channel. I'm Nigel Cooper and today I'm taking a look at the Prompt Smart Pro voice recognition software for iPads and tablets that can be used on teleprompters such as this Glidegear TMP100 that's been designed for DSLRs. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to step out a shot and I'm just going to give you a demonstration of how this works because it actually works using voice recognition, meaning as you speak, it will start to scroll and follow your words on the screen. And if you speak faster, it will speed up. And if you speak slower, it will, of course, slow down. Now, Prompt Smart Pro cost about £29 from the App Store or from the other store for um, Androids and other devices. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it out. But first, let me just step out of shot and do a quick demonstration and show you how effective this actually is. And what I will point out is this is using the built-in microphone on this iPad. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, and even from 20 foot across the room, it still doesn't have any problem following my voice. However, depending on the acoustics and the conditions of the environment that you're filming in, you can actually plug in a small microphone, a lav mic, such as this one, for example, and just have a long cable going along the floor so that your voice is gonna get sent into the iPad in high quality. But like I said, so far, I haven't found any problem at all using the iPad's built-in microphone. So let me step out of shot and show you how this works. Hello, I'm Nigel Cooper, and during this video presentation, I'm going to be taking a look at the PromptSmart Pro teleprompter software. The unique thing about the PromptSmart Pro software is that it is voice recognition, which means there is no need for a handheld speed controller or an additional person to operate it. I've been using this software for a couple of weeks now, and I'm really impressed with the voice recognition technology. As you can see, the PromptSmart Pro software does an excellent job of following my voice. If I speed up and speak faster, the teleprompter will simply scroll faster, and if I slow down, then it will also slow down. Also, if I stop to answer the telephone, the software will stop because it recognises the fact that I am no longer reading from the script. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. Okay, so just quickly before I wrap up this video, I thought I would give you a quick run through of the PromptSmart Pro software on the iPad. So as you can see, we have it installed down here on the dock. So I'm just gonna tap that to launch it. And this is the screen that you're first presented with. Now there's a couple of ways of getting scripts into here. You can either just tap on this plus icon at the top left here to add a new one by clicking new script. And when you tap that, you can just simply give it a title there. I'll call this test two and then you just type away the script like so and tap done. And there it is, test two. You can bring that up, hit play and get it prepared to um, and ready for action, but there's only one word in here. So I'm just gonna quickly get rid of that and show you a better way of bringing in scripts. So I found that if you just email them to yourself, that's the most ideal way. And you can just simply cut and paste the entire script into the body of an email like I have here. However, there's a trick to doing this. If you tap and hold and just drag over the area of the text that you want, like so, and then tap it again, rather than clicking copy, because if you copy it that way and then paste it into the Prompts Map Pro software, it can bring in some of the HTML code in the background that can potentially cause a glitch in Prompts Map Pro. So instead of doing it that way, you tap the share button here. And then when that comes up, you also have a copy feature right here. So you then tap copy there. And then if I just close that and come back into Prompt Smart Pro, I can bring up this test and I can click this little button down here to edit and then tap here like so. Just remove that and then click and hold and then tap paste and there it is. Now if I click done, I can then come down here to press this play button, which will launch the software. Now by pressing the play button, it doesn't mean it's gonna play. If I actually press it here now, that is just loading it and preparing it in anticipation of me speaking. So if I now start to speak, it will recognize my voice and it will start to scroll. For example, this text is for the test purposes to demonstrate sharing text that is in the body of any email that can then be pasted into the PromptSmart Pro software. Okay, so if I now tap on this little X to close it, we now have this settings cog, 
And if I bring that up, this is where you make various adjustments. You can change the font size in here, the color, and various other things. You can mirror like so vertically, which you would need to do if you're gonna put it onto a prompter, and you can even mirror it horizontally like so. And you can set the margin in here. For example, if I tap this, I can make it narrower. I like it to be quite wide on full screen. And there's various other adjustments in here. You've got this guide adjustment. If I turn that on and just show you what this does, for example, if I press play, it brings up this blue guide area in the middle. And that area is where the Prompts Map Pro software will try and keep the text while you are speaking. I personally don't really like that. So I go into here and I turn that guide off. So then there will no longer be that blue guide when you go back to pressing play like so. So that's pretty much it. That is the PromptSmart Pro software. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up. My name is Nigel Cooper. This is the Photography and Videography channel. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again real soon.